the three largest active volcanoes on Earth. This is by Tano Calveona on Infobarrel. We've seen a lot of volcanic activity last year and the beginning of this year as well, especially around the Ring of Fire, but also in Europe, the biggest active volcano, Capi Flegri in what used to be ancient Pompeii in Italy. And we have a lot of earthquake activity as well. Now this is the big island of Hawaii, which is about 75 miles in diameter. The largest volcano towards the center is Mauna Loa. We've seen Kilauea eruption at the beginning of uh, the spring of last year. Now Mauna Loa is compromised most of the, the island up to the right. Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea can be seen in the photo. And the three largest volcanoes in physical size, what are they? The world's largest volcanoes in size are not the ones that could produce the very largest eruptions. The largest eruptions are, of course, produced by super volcanoes. But that's another story. Here we're talking about regular volcanoes. The three largest volcanoes in physical size are Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea, which compromise most of the Big Island of Hawaii. Now, some say that their magma chambers could be connected. Some say they are not. But that's another story. So, Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea are on the Big Island of Hawaii and Mount Teed, which comprises part of the island of Tenerife in the Canary Islands. Each are shield volcanoes, although Mount Teed is actually a stratovolcano sitting on top of a large shield volcano. The three supervolcanoes, Taupo, Toba, and Yellowstone, are all smaller in physical size but are capable of far larger and more dangerous eruptions. But Mauna Loa and Mount Teed are still considered two of the world's most dangerous volcanoes because they have a history of destroying towns on their respective islands and will likely do it again sometime. There is one ancient extinct volcano that is larger than Mauna Loa, which is also discussed here. And this now contains some very basic volcanology terms, such as stratovolcano and shield volcano. And for definitions, we can go to, we're going to have another video having to do with the types of volcanoes and terms. Now, Mount Teed in the Canary Islands in Spain is the third largest active volcano on Earth. And this is a picture of it right here, as we can see. The third largest active volcano on Earth at the Canary Islands, uh, 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 towards the east of the Atlantic, East Atlantic, located on the island of Tenerife, which is over, uh, populated with over 900,000 residents in the Canary Islands. It's potentially dangerous as a volcano. It last erupted 1909 from a cinder cone along a rift zone on the northwest part of the volcano. In 1706, the primary town of the island and several other villages were destroyed by an eruption that also originated from the same northwest rift zone. Now, Christopher Columbus, they say, likely witnessed another eruption from that same part of the volcano when sailing past Tenerife on his voyage to the New World in 1492. Historical evidence shows that the last confirmed eruption of the peak of Mount Teed was somewhere around the year 800 AD, the peak of the mountain stands at an elevation of 12,198 feet, that's 3,718 meters, and is the tallest peak in the Canary Islands, which are part of Spain, located in the northern Atlantic Ocean. Now, the Canary Islands consist of multiple shield volcanoes. All those islands are volcanoes, by the way. And Mount Teed is considered a stratovolcano, which is part of and sits on top of a shield volcano, the shield volcanoes that formed Tenerife anciently. As a stratovolcano, it has potential for explosive eruptions similar to Italy's dangerous Mount Vesuvius, which is closely, which closely resembles in this uh, volcano, Mount Teed, in structure. The island formed millions of years ago and begins from the ocean floor at a depth of about 12,400 feet. That's 3,240 meters, and overall is about 24,600 feet in height. But not all of the island is the Teed volcanic complex. 
The portion that is the active volcano Mount Teed has an estimated volume that ranks third after the two Hawaiian volcanoes. Mauna Kea, Hawaii, second largest volcano on the Earth. And here we have Mauna Kea, the second largest volcano. Snow-covered peaks, as we can see. The summit of Mauna Kea features cinder cones. And we've seen uh, incorrectly stated that Mauna Kea is the largest active volcano in the world, although the largest is actually its neighbor on the same island, Mauna Loa. The confusion comes from the fact that the peak of Mauna Kea is taller. It is the tallest volcano in the world, counting from the seafloor below, although not the largest by volume. The most recent eruption of Mauna Kea was about 4,500 years ago. By geological standards, it is recent, and the shield volcano is still considered active and is expected to eventually erupt again. The estimate for the volume of Mauna Kea is about 3,200 cubic kilometers, that's 770 cubic miles. Although it's considerably larger than Mount Teed in the Canary Islands, it's far less than Mauna Loa. Next, we come to Mauna Loa on the same island, the Big Island of Hawaii. Mauna Loa, Hawaii, the largest active volcano on Earth. No active volcano on Earth matches the size of Mauna Loa, which comprises most of the Big Island of Hawaii. It's a large, broad shield volcano and originates about 16,400 feet below the surface of the ocean and then rises to a height of 13,679 feet above sea level. So the total height from the ocean floor is over 30,000 feet, that's 9,000 meters. The volcano is so massive that it pushes the Earth's crust down where it sits and the true bottom of the volcano goes down even further making the overall height of the volcano actually over 56,000 feet, that's over 17,000 meters. Even without counting the underground portion, it is easily the tallest mountain on Earth. The total volume of Mauna Loa is estimated at 75,000 cubic kilometers, that's 18,000 cubic miles. Mauna Loa is considered highly dangerous due to its recent history of eruptions, and the potential damage that it could be called that it could cause in future eruptions to towns of course located on the island the most recent eruption occurred very recently it was in 1984 and in hundreds of years it has not been known to go so long without an eruption so there you go it's expected mauna loa destroyed two villages during the 20th century the city of hilo is partially built on lava flows from an eruption which occurred during the 19th century. I'll leave a link below for you for this from InfoBarrel. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.